Hey everyone, this is Gleb. In a comment to one of my previous YouTube videos, Nadia asked a question, how do you write a code for reversing a string while using Cypress to unit test it? So here's how I would do that. I already have a project and right now it just has reverse JS in the source folder and nothing else. Now, before I start writing this function, I wanna start testing it. So here's what I would do. I would initialize an npm package with all the default settings for now, that's enough. I would install Cypress and probably Prettier right away. I would copy Prettier settings from one of my existing projects. And the most important thing, I need to initialize a new Cypress project with Cypress JS and Cypress integration folder. I could open Cypress that would create initial files. But an easier way is to use my utility called Bakhmut of CLI in it and bare, because I just need a spec file, nothing else. Okay, let's start Cypress. Perfect. So Cypress 9, I'm gonna open the spec file, come over to the side, and notice I have Cypress JSON, and I have a Cypress folder with a spec file. Okay, so now I wanna start testing the reverse string. So we need something, so I'll say export const reverse, and it takes a string, and probably has to do something. All right, and here I'll import this reverse from, and we are inside the spec subfolder, so going up to levels, source, reverse, right? If I'm inside Cypress integration, up to levels inside the source folder, reverse. And the reverse name is the name of the exported function. Okay, so let's say it reverses a string. And now let's say, what do we expect you know, to do? If we call it with hello, we expect it to return all that. Okay, so we're gonna save the spec file. And right now it says that reverse is not a function because we didn't save our export. Now, our function returns nothing. So Cypress tells us that undefined is not equal to expected result. So what should we do? Well, we can split the string with an empty separator that will give us an array of characters, an array method, in JavaScript has a reverse method, so it will switch all the characters, and then we join it right back. Does this work? Yeah. What does it do for other things? For example, I expect maybe reversing an undefined to equal an empty string. So let's do this. So if a type of S, maybe it depends on your problem, right? So for example, if we pass something else, we want to return an empty string all the time. So for example, if we pass a number, again, I wanted to see an empty string. So this is how I would write code directly imported from Cypress. And as long as it doesn't use Node.js specific code, because this test runs in the browser, I can unit test it just like I can unit test it using other test runners. There is one more thing that I want to show right now. And that has to do with SciRap and SciInvoke. So let me create another string. I'll just concentrate on it for now. Uh, wrap string. So here's what I will do. What happens if I wrap, let's say, hello? What if I'm trying to decide how to implement this reveal? I have to call split. What does it give me? What does reverse give me, right? I want to be able to debug this particular approach step by step. So if I'm working on that code and I wanna know how to do this, here's what I can do. I can wrap hello, okay? So this creates a new Cypress chain and it has a value hello inside. So instead of finding an element on the page, I'm just putting a hello string into Cypress command. And then if I'm thinking, okay, maybe I need to invoke split with an argument, right? I can take a previously wrapped string and it has a method split. So this is a Cypress command to invoke that method and pass the arguments. And the cool thing about this particular thing is that I can open the DevTools and I can click on each command to see what it did. For example, if I'm invoking split with arguments, which is an empty string right here, I'm getting an array of individual characters. And you can experiment and see what happens if, for example, I pass a character, E, right? And it's called, and notice, it split that string hello into H and then hello. Okay, we probably want to use an empty string. 
And then I need to reverse. And reverse doesn't take any arguments, so we're fine. We had hello, we split into characters, and we reversed it, and now look at it. It's a reverse character. And because reverse modifies array in place, that's why subject and yielded values are now reversed. And we want to invoke join, right? And we can pass an empty string again. And what does it give us? It gives us reverse original string. And we can use the should command, which is an assertion in Cypress. And we can say should equal alle, right? Exactly what we had before. So by using wrap, we put a string into Cypress command and then invoke the methods. We can work with an algorithm, refine it, see what each step does, and even attach an assertion to make sure that the produced result is what we expect it to be. So we can do test-driven development using Cypress and running unit tests.